Welcome back to Alternative Authority Content, and in this video, we are going to be talking about creating a pre-recorded audio show or podcast. Now, one way to create audio content is to create a podcast show. And when you think about a show, we're thinking about it in the very same way as you might be thinking about your favorite television show or your favorite radio program that comes on at a specific time, at a specific point during the week or during the day. Now, typically with a podcast show or an audio show of any kind, you are going to be pre-recording the audio and uploading it to some place in order to host it. Now, to increase the amount of exposure that you're going to get to your show, you want to make sure that your show appears in iTunes. This is probably one of the largest or the largest repository of audio content in the form of a podcast. Now, this is done with easily with some of the more popular uh, audio hosting repositories, and we'll talk about that here in a minute. Let's take a look at iTunes for a second. And you can see here that if we just did a simple search and looked for iTunes podcast for weight loss, right, you'll see a number of results. You'll even see here that as of December 2014, there was a listing of the 19 best health and fitness podcasts of all time. So you can see here, iTunes is a very popular place for people to be able to put their podcast again, for them to get the exposure to their brand and to whatever it is that they have to offer. Now, when you do your podcast, what you're going to be doing, of course, is you are going to be making your audio available on a regular basis on a website or in an audio repository. Now, we've used that term a couple of times now. So what do we mean by audio repository? Well, one place that you might have even uh, you might have even frequented or you might have even seen already is called SoundCloud. And while there are a number of musicians that use SoundCloud, it's for more than musicians. As an entrepreneur, you can use SoundCloud in order to create audio content. And all you'll have to do is to go here to create an account. And in the same way that you see this, and let's just for the sake of argument, let's just type in weight loss. And as you can see here, there are people that are creating content specifically for their particular niche and weight loss. So you can use SoundCloud as your repository to upload your audio and to hold it so that people can either listen to it on SoundCloud or you can actually link to it or uh, link to it from your website. Another place where you can actually listen to audio is called Stitcher. It's another place where you can actually upload your audio. As you can see here, Stitcher can be found using a simple Google search. You can then go into Stitcher. And you can actually sign up as a content provider, which is what Stitcher calls their partners. Another, uh, another location for you to put your audio would be a website called Speaker, which actually comes with a built-in advantage because not only does it come connected to iTunes, but it also comes with a connection to iHeartRadio, which is actually inside of many automobiles as well as terrestrial radio. And Spreaker can be found with a simple Google search. You can go inside. And you'll see here that Spreaker is designed for you to create your own podcast or radio show. Right? Fairly simple to use once you already have the equipment that we've talked about that you need to have to get started. And podcasting can be a now a very effective way for you to get your content in front of a number of people that you might not have been able to do so just a few years ago because now iTunes and iHeartRadio is available inside of automobiles. And you're seeing this being discussed in a number of different places online. Now, if you're looking to create your content or your podcast audio using interviews, there are a couple of easy ways in order to do that. One of the easiest ways to do that is to record the audio using Skype. There are a number of Skype recorders available, one of which uh, probably is the most popular called Pamela for Skype. There's also the program Evair and the program Ecamm for Mac if you're still looking to use Skype. The other way to do it is to use a website called freeconferencecall.com. 
And on freeconferencecall.com, all you're going to need to do is to have your interviewee call in. And then when you have your interviewee call in, uh, freeconferencecall.com will actually produce the MP3 for you that you can use to upload to the various services that we have been talking about. So it is possible to pre-record your audio content to then upload to one of the repositories and then make that uh, make that audio available to anyone, whether or not they're watching on your website or listening on your website or listening on social media. OK, so with that, thanks. And I will see you in another video.